My friends, this is Emperor Jackson. I'm the senior pastor here at First United Methodist Church. I'd like to begin today's devotion with a brief prayer. Please, would you bow your heads with me as we go to the Lord in prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, come now, open us up to be able to hear what you have us to hear today. Allow us to be able to be transformed by your word. This we ask in thy name, amen. I'd like to read another passage from Matthew, the 16th chapter, beginning at verse 24. It is entitled, The Cross and Self-Denial. The Cross and Self-Denial. Reading from the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible, we read these words. Then Jesus told his disciples, if any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up the cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit them if they gain the whole world but forfeit their life? Uh, what will they give in return for their life? These are powerful, very meaningful words, very short scripture reading, but very powerful words. And they remind us that Jesus says that if we are to follow him, we must take up the cross, all of these crosses that are behind me, different sizes, colors, shapes. I've talked about those before. But take just a moment to look at them. There's one that's white, one that's blue, browns. There are different types of crosses that are here. They come from different expressions of Christianity. Greek Orthodox, they are the traditional crosses that we in Protestantism uplift. They are crosses perhaps that the Catholic Church uses more often than we do in the Protestant faith. But they are all are crosses. And this passage of scripture reminds me that we all have a cross to bear. There's a song that says, must Jesus bear the cross along and all the world go free? No, there's a cross for everyone and there's a cross for me. That song reminds us that if we who call ourselves Christians and want to follow Jesus, we must pick up one of these crosses that fits us and carry it. And we must follow the example of Jesus Christ in all that we do. We must humble ourselves. We must be willing to give up the old self and let it die and be born again. And to remember that Jesus Christ suffered and died for us all. In your life, perhaps things are not going well. In your life, perhaps you feel burdened. In your life, things may feel as if it's just a bad and difficult situation going on. But remember to hold firm to God's unchanging hand. And remember, perhaps you are carrying a cross, following the example of Jesus Christ. And so I encourage you today not to lose faith, not to lose hope. But pick up your cross and follow Jesus. And in the end, Jesus will reward you with a heavenly crown of glory. Let us remember these words. And let us now go to the Lord in prayer. Dear God, bless and watch over us when we struggle to carry our crosses. Remember, dear God, that we have been uplifted by you. And we can carry our crosses because Jesus carried the cross for us all. This we ask in thy name. Amen.